Hello guys and welcome to my June empties. What a wonderful So I've got a lot of stuff right here to show you guys that I finished up over the last month and I am going to do a reading recap because I realized I started that in like March doing a reading recap of what I read in the past month and then I totally forgot to do any updates since then. So we're just going to review June's uh, reads but yeah let's just get started. So as always we're going to start with candles. I finished off three last month so I'm going to start with Brioche French Toast from White Barn and this one was really nice. I picked this one up when it came out for candle day uh, in December of last year and it was really awesome. It honestly just smelled like pumpkin pecan waffles to me. The notes are fluffy brioche toast, rich maple syrup, and a dollop of butter sprinkled with cinnamon. This one was really yummy. It burned super, super well. It didn't really ever get grody or icky, so yeah, I loved it. It was great. The next one I finished is Blueberry Marshmallow Bar. I went through this one really quickly. It was super good. Um, it was just a super simple sweet blueberry scent. I really enjoyed it. It was not overpowering. It wasn't too gourmand. It wasn't cloying. It was so good. It's sugared blueberries, sweet vanilla, and toasted marshmallows. So yeah, it was just a really nice sweet blueberry scent. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. As you can see, I burnt it all the way down to the wood clips. The last one I finished off in June is chocolate drizzled popcorn from Goose Creek. This one was a surprising one. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I thought that I didn't. I've had this for probably three years now. Um, I have not really had luck with Goose Creek candles in the past, but this one for some reason did really well. So very shocked about that. Um, it really just smelled like chocolate, to be honest. I didn't get a lot of like popcorn or butter or anything. When I had this burning and sometimes I would like forget about it, that it'd be like in the living room and I was cooking and whatever. Um, and I'd come back out and it just smelled like chocolate. So I liked it. It was really good. Um, nothing to write home about. I probably still will not be purchasing from Goose Creek anymore. Um, I just really haven't had good luck with their candles. So yeah, this one was fine. Only a couple body care items this month versus last month when I finished off a ton of body care. I only finished off a few things. So I finished the Twisted Peppermint Body Lotion. Now this one was super random. Um, I just decided one day that I wanted to use it up and I did. <laughs> so yeah, it was like right up to here and I just finished it off completely. Both me and Ryan worked on this one. It's Cool Peppermint Sugared Snow and Vanilla Buttercream and Fresh Balsam. I enjoyed it a ton. It was actually really nice to use um, at the start of summer. So yeah, that was a fun one. I just had it, I didn't even have it in a project or anything. I just finished it and I really enjoyed it. And then Ryan finished off Whiskey Reserve. I loved this one for him. It smelled so good. Our shower smelled amazing after he used it. I feel like the men's, shower gels are a little stronger or maybe it's just because it's not me showering with it it's him so if I go into the bathroom and he just showered like I smell it anew you know but yeah it was nice it was yummy it was refreshing and I really liked it finished off a couple of hand soaps here this month I really wanted to go for ones that I had like halfway used and then put away for other seasons so I pulled out this flannel one which was already like three quarters of the way used for Ryan to use at his sink. It's crisp autumn air, heirloom, mahogany, and cedarwood. So he doesn't really care about the seasons with his hand soaps. So he finished that one. Um, I finished off toasted butter, toasted butterscotch latte. I don't know what I was gonna say there, but this one I had started using in the fall and then I put it away to use winter scents. So I came back to it. It's toasted butterscotch, whipped vanilla, and a salted caramel drizzle. It was just really sweet and sugary. And then I also finished off an ice cinnamon rolls. Ryan's mom found a ton of these on a really good deal. And so she's been giving us a couple of them. I think she gave us like four of them, I wanna say. So even using them steadily at the kitchen sink, I really actually have been loving the gel hand soaps specifically in the kitchen to use like after washing my, after washing my hands, after washing dishes. So this one is warm cinnamon rolls, fresh orange and sugar glaze. I do like it. So after I did a semi-annual sale haul, finally I had some new wallflowers. So I replaced them last month. If you haven't seen my SAS haul, I'll link it up above, but I finished off mahogany coconut. And I think this one was in the master bathroom. And I finished off cereal and cartoons, which this one was downstairs in our laundry room. It was really nice, although it was definitely more of like a fall kind of scent. 
because this one is toasted cinnamon crunchy cereal cold milk so it was like cinnamon spiced <laughs> so yeah i was able to get through two wax bars so i got through a scentsy vanilla bean buttercream one of my favorites this is actually the holiday packaging but i love this one and then i also got through scentsy's crumb top also one of my favorites. I really like mixing this one with like berry scent so it smells like a blueberry muffin or something. So those are really nice. Ryan was able to get through a full bottle of hairspray. This is the Tresemme Total Volume Hairspray. He really loves this one. And then this month I've been really trying to focus more on my skincare and I wanted to ask you guys, do you have a toner that you love? Because I love the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Toner but I think my skin is accustomed to it now and it doesn't work as good as it used to on me. Um, so I think my skin just got used to it and now it doesn't really hydrate like, like it used to. So I'm gonna try and get a different toner. But if you guys have one that you love, let me know down below. I'm looking for one that has probably acids like that one, um, but a little bit different of a formulation. My skin is just like dull, I would say. I'm kind of noticing I'm turning 27 this year and I'm kind of noticing, um, you know, a little bit of fine lines coming in, a little bit of smile lines. Um, and my skin just kind of looks dull, you know, it could look a lot better. So I feel like I should up my skincare game again. I've been using kind of the same stuff for over a year. So I feel like it's time to revamp it, but I've been using some sheet masks kind of about like every week or so when I remember. So I finished up this Innisfree uh, Manuka Honey Mask. And you guys, I just get my face masks from TJ Maxx because <laughs> they always have them on a good deal. So here's the Manuka Honey one and then this Tony Moly I'm Coconut Hydrating Sheet Mask. Really liked both of these. They're pretty great. And that's it for my empties for this month. I can't believe I didn't really go through a lot. Um, just a couple body care items and three candles, but still steadily getting through my collection. I'm happy about that. And since June was really the start to the summer, I kind of started moving into summer scents. So we can expect to finish those up maybe July or August. So yeah, let's get into books now. If you're not interested, thank you so much for watching, but I will go ahead and get into my books. So I only actually have two physical books with me, but I did read four books this month. I had two that I read on Audible or on an audiobook. I actually read them on the Libby app, which you can get free books from your local library on. So I'll go through the two that I did have physical copies of first. So this first one that I have, I actually found in my free little library in my neighborhood. I love the neighborhood we're in now because they have so many of those little library stations. Some have magazines, some have kids books, and some every now and then I will find a romance. So I did find a romance. I check them probably three times a week because I pass by them on my walks with Kai. So I found this one called The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. And this one sounded really good. You know, I saw people kissing on the front and I was like, okay, it's definitely a romance. And it was, it was a romance. It was pretty steamy actually. I would say um, out of five chili peppers, it was like two or three. So definitely steamy. Anyways, this is about a econometrist, okay? And she has Asperger's. So she does have autism and she's looking for love. She's never dated before and she hires an escort to try and teach her about how to be in a relationship, how to be with guys and stuff like that. And the escort is the sweetest thing in the world. He's so cute and we get his perspective in the book too. And I just thought it was adorable. It was a short read. It was 314 pages. To me that's like that's pretty short. 300 or under and yeah it was just like nice and fun it was not really any super heavy themes just kind of like a little bit of a uh, you know real life but for the most part it was just nice sappy and i really enjoyed it so i would definitely recommend it if you guys are looking for a new romance book it's called the kiss quotient i believe it is on audible um but yeah i really enjoyed it and i can't wait to go to my little library and return this and try to find something new and then you guys know <laughs> i'm reading the Throne of Glass series currently. I am on the next book. I have not started, I think it's, uh, I don't actually know which book is next. Let me see. Queen of Shadows is the next one and I have not started it yet. Honestly, I just kind of needed a break from fantasy for a little bit. I've just been reading like romance. <laughs> so we have Air of Fire right here in this one. Oh, you guys, it was so juicy. It was really good. We got a lot of new characters in this book, which this one I think is the third book not including the prequel. I read the prequel actually after this one. So technically I read it July. The prequel was like, whatever. Honestly, I did not care for Assassin's Blade. It was like, whatever to me, it was a little boring. I had to read it on Audible just because I didn't care for it that much. Obviously like the last 
it's all like mini mini stories it's not just like one full book it's like mini series kind of um and the last story was important and interesting but like getting into it was like so boring this one was not okay this one was not boring it was i mean like the first i don't know 50 pages or so when she's finding her way around this new town was a little boring i'm not gonna spoil anything but we do meet somebody new in this book okay that i've heard some things on some gossip on on tiktok and instagram and i really liked him in this okay i'm just gonna say that the girls who know know but yeah you meet somebody new in this one you meet like a whole new group of people and i really enjoyed it so i think this was like a really awesome like redemption arc almost um and i really enjoyed the relationships that builded during this book we'll leave it at that and i'm very excited to see where it goes from here she's going back to the place she came from so i'm not looking forward to that i really wanted her to stay there but it's fine and yeah so i need to read the next book i know it's kind of like heavy themes honestly so i just needed a break from the next one so i'll start the next one soon but that is air of fire and then i've been reading the hades and persephone series for a while now for the last couple of months i got my friends onto it too it is basically a love story about Hades and Persephone, but you get like a whole backstory on it. It's set in like modern day. Um, and I really enjoy it just because mythology is one of like my special interests. And Hades and Persephone has, has always been something that's like very interesting to me about the goddess of spring falling in love with the god of the underworld has always been something really cool to me. So last month I finished the second book in both of their series. So there's one from Persephone's perspective and one from Hades perspective and the Hades one is a game of I don't remember I'll put the picture up here but that one I really liked because in Hades perspective we also get the perspective of other gods and so it's nice to see other people's perspective besides just Persephone's because in hers it's just her which is fine but it's also cool to read them side by side so there is a tandem reading order um, that the author released that you can read the chapters as they go throughout the story so you can read her perspective and then his perspective on the same thing that happens and then usually his perspective will also include something that's going on aside from just their little love story like maybe something with apollo or hermes or other gods <laughs> so we're getting like more different perspectives so it's really cool to see that and yeah i just really like it it's definitely very spicy very very spicy like a four out of five on chili peppers it's super spicy sometimes i just like fast forward to the spicy parts honestly because i don't i don't care at this point it was fun in the first book but like i i don't need all of it you know so i usually just have that on while i'm like cooking or on a walk with kai or something so those are the audiobooks that i also finished this month so anyways that is everything for this month's empties and a little reading a recap i hope you guys enjoyed that let me know down below i would love some summer romance read recommendations so let me know down below what books are you reading currently or if you're not really into the reading stuff totally cool what candles are you wearing right now let me know down below and i will see you all in my next video bye